this this is our ninth lesson, by the way. Oh, really? I think it's wow. nine. So, have we learned so many things in our past eight lessons? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Are you just being polite or <laughs> no, have, did you I really? No, I have. I have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's, uh, what, um, why, why you think that it's difficult well, to coordinate? I'm just like, I don't know, like... Right hand yeah. one down. One octave down, right hand. What? Your right hand, one octave down. Oh, yes. So like... Instead of your pinky here, mm -hmm. you should first. Yeah, oh. exactly. Let's try again from the beginning. have for example this kind of like scales even inside of the piece or a long passage going up it can be arpeggio it can be like mixture of chords or anything mm -hmm. so I know till where should I go right mm -hmm. for example you will go to here somewhere here mm -hmm. you know in your case you are gonna go from here till two octaves and one octave, right so I'll show you here this is your how you should do. So, I will start close to the end. Okay. So, um, you, I think most, of, um, I think your left hand is com makes you confused, yeah. right? Mostly. Yeah. So, I will do the first one. Look. Your left hand will cross here. The fourth finger is crossing like four, right? And then your third finger. I think these crossings yeah. uh, come, like yeah. messes up everything. So, mm -hmm. I will start from uh, left hand, the third, from the third finger, but together with your right hand, okay? This is three, right? Yeah. I will. Uh, huh? You are playing till here anyway. Okay. Right? So, three, two, one. So I will start just this one. This is super easy to do. So I will go back where I have my fourth finger on D. That's from here, right? Yeah. But but left hand, you have four four on D. You can you can uh, put your left hand here. Okay. And your right hand, second finger. So, start from there. So, no, no, no. So Directly from the yeah. Oops. Oh, so. The or then. Yes. Yes, do that again. So it's third finger? Second. Second finger? Uh, you don't even uh, have to guess. Look, this is C on first, and then the, on D should it, it should be second okay. on your right hand. No, no directly from oh, start sorry, from D. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. sorry. Yes. Do this again. Yes. Oops. Oh. 
carefully. To do it again, can you just uh, place your hand not in between the black okay. keys? Okay. More towards the you know beginning of the key, not end or the middle. Okay. Yeah, nice. Don't finger that right hand. There. Yeah. Do it again, but don't finger that uh, first finger after your third finger. Okay. Yes. Now, can you do it from C? From C, but when you play, you will have your first finger on your last hand, on C. But that's your pinky, that's your fifth finger, that's your first finger, exactly. And then, instantly you will play cross to your fourth, yes, so four, four, four. Now start from the beginning of the scale. Yeah. First so finger, so you're, because you are going to continue. Oh, Let's okay. so start start from the beginning, but there you should like. Difficult to remember, yeah. But uh, did I think this helped you a yeah, bit? Huh? Yeah. So it's always, uh, for example, um, I have a man. Mm -hmm. I have a passage in my piece like this, but this is like fast. Yeah. So it's like four octaves. Doing, I'm doing the same thing. It's difficult, mm -hmm. you know, because when I start, this is fine. This is kind of fine. Then I, I just, man, yeah. I, you know, I can't. Yeah. I, it it get messed up, mm -hmm. you know. So I start from here. Very end. I make this super secure. Mm -hmm. Then I go one back. Then I secure this. I go one back. And then I go to beginning. So I add all always. Okay. For example, I have another uh, place like it's like this. So the same thing. I start. It's fine. It's fine. Then uh, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. So I start from the very end. Then I secure. I add one. I add one. So. Uh, when you play the, uh, the scale, sorry, mm -hmm. it's still here, right? Like, start from the end, for example, from the half, since this is like two octave, start from one octave, uh, I mean, from the half of the scale. Secure this, then go back. If you would play like four octaves, I was. Then you add this. Then you add this, okay. and then you add this. Okay, I got it. This is a. Uh, this always, always works. Okay. Like always, it just uh, it gets more comfortable. Okay. You can try this on um, saxophone too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, woo, <laughs> arpeggio, something like yeah. that. It's like you start from the 
very end, mm -hmm. then a bit back, 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 and then uh, you will mm -hmm. just do it without a problem. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, would you like to try this C major again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sit on the middle of the... Mm -hmm. When you, for example, when you want to go there, mm -hmm. your body should move. Okay. Not, you shouldn't like change your okay. <laughs> position completely, okay? okay? So, it's like... your first finger on there, there on that one that C and yeah now go back from there just with left hand? no no of course not mm -hmm. both but uh yeah which finger will be there on, uh, on, your, uh, on your right hand in the half of the scale Is it 
difficult or? Yeah, it's just like, yeah, it's hard because like one hand will move before the other, so I'm just fine. getting that together is difficult. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, it's a bit difficult at the very beginning, but then uh, when you get used to it, it will just flow. Okay. By itself. Okay. Let's let's do the whole scale now. Okay. to finish like and go back okay uh, you should always put your five fifth finger okay uh, at the top okay is there uh, uh, like something what you want to ask no i just like have to practice it this needs practice yeah this yeah. this seriously needs some time mm -hmm. so it needs some investment like some practicing because okay. it's like uh you know, uh, it's same in every on every instrument. I mean, as the much you practice, you better <laughs> will yeah. do everything. So it just needs some investment there, okay. some that dedication too. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I guess in like class, we're doing like we do like. Seven, I believe. Yeah. So, um, five, six. Five, yeah, five, six, not five, seven. Just, I guess, we're working on that, and like, we did like the five finger pattern with. Do you, do you have a book with you? Yeah, I do. <clears throat> when do you have a final? Um, do you have a final exam yeah. of this? So, what, what are you guys gonna? Um, he hasn't gone over the material for that yet, but... What do you think that's it? Um, <laughs> you might. I know we have just the five sevens and then like improv again. Um, and then, yeah. We did like... We did this, this page. We did... Yeah, the first one. So... Yeah. All of them are there. So, um, I haven't done much, like too much sight reading from that, but mm -hmm. I guess it'd be good to know to practice. Yeah, let's let's do some sight reading now. Okay. Um, uh, uh, have you done the first one only, or before, or in the class? Um, I think so. Yeah. I just don't remember which ones he, we worked on because we haven't really spent much time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's 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 do the first one. I I I see some scale fingers there. With the <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Have you noticed that that uh, B C B B A G? Those those are uh, your C major beloved C major scale <laughs> fingerings. Yeah. Because you do you, your C major, you just you put three here in D major. So, um, let, let's play this again, mm -hmm. but be careful, uh, pay attention to the rhythms, okay? So, uh, let's do the second one. Okay. <laughs> Look, this is another D major, but instead of going down, it's going up. For the second one? Or this one? Yeah, yeah that one. Okay. And it's in D minor. It's in... Yeah. Replace your left hand. Third. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. You can uh, play this chord uh, on on the middle of the key, yeah. for example. You know, because you're gonna play this. You don't wanna do like yeah. this or uh, directly there. So start here. And just, it's there. This one, for example, you can like go a bit uh, to, towards the beginning of the key because you don't have to play any black chords instead of this one. Okay. But our fifth finger is uh, long enough that you can reach this without any problem. But your second finger, look, it's just here. But this is like second finger, uh, I mean, the thumb, your thumb, the first finger is not that long. so. You'll have to do this, so yeah. just do all that. Make sure that your thumb is right next to this one. So Second finger directly like this. Okay, don't like 
avoids this position. Okay. Like directly. But we never do this. We always cross. Okay. Play the D minor with your left hand, on the right hand, on the right hand. C sharp. Oh, yeah, yeah, C sharp. the second one now with your left hand of course together oh okay so like the whole just the whole thing yeah, yeah. okay G. Left hand, D, G, B flat. D, yeah, G, B. Yeah. Play. Yeah. Then. Flat there. Oh. A. Uh -huh. oh. yeah. okay. You look at your hands too much. <laughs> so you shouldn't do that because okay. you should avoid that. You should okay. just uh, stay with the score. Okay. Sometimes, okay, but not after each. Thing you play, you yeah, know? yeah. So, be careful the this is, this is in six day six yeah. eight right so yeah. one two three okay you play this eight sixteenth notes mm -hmm. same with this eighth Cross. 
let's let's do this uh, again with your left hand. Don't no, don't don't make me put this okay. <laughs> books again. Um. Be careful. Uh, count from inside. Don't play that so uh, two eight uh, sixteenth note early. That is, you know, um, it, it is similar to, uh, to um, you know, motorcycle, you know, those, how to say, riders or, mm -hmm. anyway, uh, they have the same problem, for example, the beginners, they always tend to look, you know, how fast they go, mm -hmm. but for example, do you, do you drive, do you know how to drive? Yeah, yeah. For example, um, when you're driving a car, road is here, mm -hmm. it's just, the you know that thing that shows you how fast you go is just there and um, but when you look there it, you know you see the road like anyway mm -hmm. but the motorcycle yeah. hmm? <laughs> you don't have any yeah. vision when yeah. you look so um one of my friends was a instructor like they he was teaching people and oh, <laughs> they, they used to, and he used to put a paper oh. on that place just to avoid people yeah. not to check how fast they go because of course the fast they go like 100 miles 90 miles yeah. and then that in that one second you are going for i don't know 250 feet you just fast yeah. so it's the same don't look at your hands okay. it's just there you, you you follow you follow the score because you should know what's coming next okay. and for example when you you're playing here right your yeah. eyes should already be somewhere here okay. so you played this already so you shouldn't be looking at this point like your eyes should be here for example when i uh, side treat mm -hmm. my eyes when i play this is already somewhere there forward okay. forward so i know what's coming and that is you know uh something that needs practicing of course yeah. of course but yeah. uh it's not difficult let's do the third one as well 